I do. And when you do work for Mr. Depp, he pays your salary, right? Not on salary. He pays my, my wage, yes. Okay. He pays the money that you make for working for him. Correct. And you've referred to him a few times during your testimony this morning as your client. Is that right? Yes. So when you're working security for Mr. Depp, it's Mr. Depp and Mr. Depp alone that is your client, correct? That is not correct. Well, in the, the altercation that you testified about with Ms. Hurd and Mr. Depp, you referred to, to only Mr. Depp as your client, and it was your job to keep your client safe. Do you remember that? Objection compound. I'll allow that. Go ahead. I do. Okay. So at least in that instance, he was your client, not Ms. Hurd, correct? Correct. Now... The evening of March 23rd, 2015, you actually walked into the middle of the argument with Debbie Lloyd, correct? Yes. So you testified earlier that you were downstairs and Ms. Hurd was downstairs in the lobby and you'd gotten Ms. Lloyd, but that's actually not accurate, is it? To the best of my recollection, that is accurate. In fact, when you and Miss Lloyd entered Penthouse 5, Amber and Mr. Depp were already in there having a verbal argument, correct? That is not correct. May I approach you on? All right, yes, sir. Mr. McGivern, do you see um, a document on the screen in front of you entitled Witness Statement of Travis McGivern? Uh, I do. Okay. And you... Well, let, let me ask you this. Is that your, is that your address below? document's pretty small. Is there any way for me to, oh, there we go. Yes, it is. And that's, that's where you currently live? Hang on one sec, I'm sorry. That is a P.O. box. Okay. Is that yours? It is. Okay. Um, now, this is a witness statement that you prepared on behalf of Mr. Depp uh, in the U.K. trial, Correct. Yeah, the, the statement went away. Oh, there it is. You um, see it? Yes, it is. And who drafted this statement? Uh, myself, along with an attorney. I don't remember exactly who. Was it Adam Waldman? At that point, I don't believe it was, no. If you go to paragraph five, please. On the second page, and, and you understood when you wrote this statement that this was going to be submitted to the court in the UK trial that Mr. Depp brought, and that this was your testimony on behalf of Mr. Depp, correct? Yes. And about two thirds of the way through paragraph five, there's a sentence that says, when Ms. Lloyd and I entered his residence, Ms. Hurd and Mr. Depp were having a verbal argument. Is that correct? That I read that right? That is, yes. So that doesn't say anything about you meeting Ms. Hurd in the lobby of the Eastern Columbia building, does it? No, it does not. And when you entered the penthouse, you can't recall the specifics of what the argument was about, correct? I'll take that. No, like 
What they were fighting about? Absolutely. Right. No, I don't. And you don't know anything about what caused the argument in the first place, correct? I do not. But you do remember Mr. Depp being very angry, right? I remember both of them being very angry, yes. And you say that he gave as good as he got when it came to what they were saying to each other, right? Yes. You'd say they were both being verbally abusive to one another? Yes. And you testified that at some point, Ms. Heard, Ms. Heard was on the, the, the mezzanine level, right? The, the level of her office, so kind of the middle level of the penthouse? That's correct. And Mr. Depp was on the lower level, correct, when you entered the penthouse? So when Ms. Lloyd and I re-entered the penthouse, yes, that's where they were. And you weren't preventing Mr. Depp from leaving at any time, correct? Preventing him from leaving? I was encouraging him to leave. Right. And he could have, when he was on that lower level of the penthouse, he could have left at that point, correct? You wouldn't have prevented that. No, I would not have. Um, but instead, at some point, he walked up to the me mezzanine and, as you say, he rearranged Miss Hurd's closet. Right? Well, that wasn't on the mezzanine level. That was on the top level. Um, but yeah, he rearranged the closet. So he traveled up two levels in the penthouse to throw down every rack of clothing that she had, right? I don't know about every rack, but he, he definitely threw down some racks of clothes and shoes. Okay, I, be I believe you said every rack, so that's just why I was asking you to confirm that. You said he threw a rack down the stairs, correct? Yes. Okay. And then at that point, he went back downstairs? To the mezzanine level, yes. Now, that wasn't the only time you learned of Mr. Depp um, causing damage in Penthouse 5, correct? Couldn't say for sure. Uh, nothing, nothing's coming to mind. He had, uh, you said he had something on his hand from his injury that he sustained in Australia, right? Yes, his hand was wrapped. Now, you weren't in Australia uh, with Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd, correct? I was not. And what he had on his hand could have been a hard cast, correct? Sure. I have, I have no idea what was under the wrap. And isn't it true that while he was on the mezzanine level and Miss Heard uh, and, and her sister were there, <laughs> that he was reaching for Amber's hair while he was trying to hit her with that cast, correct? That is not correct. And you say that you can't say for sure where Whitney was standing on the mezzanine level during this altercation, correct? That is correct. And it's, it's possible that she was standing in between Mr. Depp and Miss Heard then, correct? No. Well, you say you can't say for sure where she was standing. So she could have been standing in between so Mr. When, Depp and Miss Heard, right? No, because I stepped in between Miss Heard and Mr. Depp. Um, so she definitely wasn't standing in between them. Well, in fact, you saw Mr. Depp uh, push or shove Whitney Heard, correct? Absolutely not. And it was only after Mr. Depp pushed Whitney that Amber stepped forward and punched him in the face. Isn't that right? That is not correct. Now, moving on to April 2016, you weren't there for the party, you said, correct? I, uh, I started my shift while the party was going on. But you weren't in with the party goers, you said, right? That's correct. And you, you said at some point, Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard went back to Penthouse 3, um, but you have no idea what went on between them in Penthouse 3 while you weren't there, correct? Correct. 